Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushak from the Double Vibes, and in this tutorial, I am going to write, write the very low code for the implementation of the majority circuit. And this is the logical diagram that you can see over here, where the three input majority circuit is designed. X, Y, Z are the input variables, while F is the output variable. And uh, here I have marked three internal connections: W1, W2, and W3 as wires. Fine. So wires are basically the internal connections and you can see that W1 is actually the end of X and Y. Similarly, W2 is the end of Y and Z and the last internal connection is W3 which is the end of X and Z. Alright, now let's go to the Verilog code where I have generated or written the module for the Verilog uh, for the majority circuit implementation. So the name majority circuit is given to the module output function. Is defined as F and here are three inputs X Y and Z fine then you can see I have named W1 W2 and W3 as wires which were basically the end of X and Y so end of X and Y is stored in W1 then end of Y and Z is stored in W2 and similarly end of Z and X is stored in the W3 and finally all these outputs of the end gates are actually all together and their result is stored in the F3. After writing this code, obviously you need to do what you just need to check the behavioral syntax. Okay, and this will let you know is there any problem in the very low code syntax that you have written. The next step is to write down the test bench for that, and I have written the test bench for it as well. How we can generate the test bench, you can watch the link for uh, uh, that I am mentioning in the description where I have completely or totally defined how to generate the first test bench. All of those steps. Okay. So uh, we will basically start the code from here and you can see here I have written the same name just like the name of the module for the majority circuit was. Then we created it, its instance. So this is basically the instantiation and the same parameters of the variables is passed in it all right then you initialize it and here the variables x y and z are all one bit number so that's why initially their value is equal to zero and then what i have done you i will repeat i want to add or increment in these values by one seven times so repeat seven times what x one will be incremented by one, y will be incremented by one, and z will be incremented by one. One thing you can also do that you can just copy and then you can paste before each variable. And in this way, you can see these all variables will be incremented by one after a hundred picosecond delay or nanosecond delay. I think its unit is nanosecond, so that's why it's the nanosecond. All right, now let's just simulate it and see either there is some problem or some syntax error no so it's completed successfully the next is to simulate the behavioral model for this test bench and you will see a window will be launched and here the output can be you can actually fit to zoom and then you can go back to the initial transitions and then you can move to the next states So in this way here you can see the input variables are x y and z fine and the output is equal to one only when all inputs are equal to one or when there are more number of ones as compared to zeros in the input combination thank you for watching